stay around. When you look at what you guys have been able to do in the last six games, you're five and one. Just what do you attribute just the success that you guys have had? Uh, I think just everybody, you know, we got like a uh, saying, uh, radical, radical truth. And, you know, I think everybody just bonding to that. And like, we just be honest with each other. Like nobody not taking it offensive. Uh, we all just trying to play hard as we win games. You say radical truth. Where did that saying kind of come from? And at what point in the season was that part of the message? Uh, that's been the message is um, day one training camp with JV. Uh, you know, JV is the first thing he wrote on the board: radical truth, radical transparency. Uh, like coming into this season, like we not holding things back from each other. We all trying to get better. We all want to win. We all want to be great. So you know, like we all trying to buy into that. When you look at kind of at this game coming up with the Wizards, it's your last game before this a tough road stretch. What do you want to see from your group, and what kind of what more do you want to do tonight? Uh, just playing hard, playing smart, playing together, buying into the game plan, because we're gonna need those coming on this big road trip. Buying into the game plan, and just paying attention to detail. You know, these type of games um, we could gel together more. Uh, you know, we got guys that were sitting out this back. You know, help them back up, help them back into the flow. Uh, you know, I'm just looking forward to play and win. What do you make of this Wizards team in the year they've had so far? Um, you know, they probably right now they they having like a bad time right now. But you know, we all NBA players. You know, we can't go into the game thinking down on nobody. We all NBA players. Anybody can win as long as you play hard, play smart, play together. Anybody can win. JV was saying the minutes may not have changed so much, but the way he's distributing your minutes with Nick. In other words, he said he was playing you guys kind of shorter bursts so that you'd be fresher. Um, have you noted that? And like you talked about, everybody's you know just filling their roles. I mean, a, how did that conversation come about? And have you felt that it's helped? You know, in other words, you can put out what, co what conversation? Any conversation about hey, you guys uh, I out on the court might be a little short. I ain't even really noticed, man. You know, I'm just when I get in, I just play for real. You know, I can't even. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I play 30 minutes, I play 15, you know, okay. it's just how it is. I just play when I play. So you haven't, you have not only did he not have a talk with you about it, you didn't even notice that he was doing it. No, nah, nah, I didn't even notice. Who, who's maybe the more honest, most honest person with this radical truth? Uh, shoot, I guess, I'd probably say uh, everybody, I don't know, I think everybody for real. I think everybody, all is bonded to it. Uh, but from the start, it was, you know, JV, you know, just giving us the floor to, to be able to speak, you know, that type of thing. Um, I say JV, for real. He the one that started the whole thing. I know guys say Dennis talks a lot, so I'm sure Dennis may Oh, yeah, Dennis Dennis probably number two, <laughs> for sure. Like, Dennis going to say what he got to say, no matter who it is, you know what I'm saying? He trying to win no matter what. He definitely got that leadership role uh, on the team, for sure. What, what's that like having him be more that vocal leader since he's arrived? Uh, I think it just like gets us all hyped up, you know. Uh, every every game before the um, we tip off, you know, Dennis give us words, you know what I'm saying. Like, I think he just hype everybody up because he got that just I don't care attitude, you know. Who we playing don't matter. He bought, he trying to guard the best player every night. It don't matter if he's 16, he's 5'10", you know. He just got that dog mentality. And I think it just rub off on everybody else. He's playing like you know, we're starting Trey and taking that matchup. What does that do for you guys? Watching him be that that dog. Sure, when you see him locking him up, it's like, well, I gotta do my job too, you know. And, I, and when he start doing his job, it's trickle down the fit, and everybody else just buy in. What do you think the uh, the theme of honesty has helped you realize about your game, and maybe areas that it's helped you grow or reflect? Um, I don't know for real. I can't even answer that. I don't know. I don't know. I just think they just mine just start for the first year, man. Just buying in from the first year, like. When I first got here, Kyle Corver was telling me weight room and just like conditioning, I was gonna be a number one thing and like just buying in, trying to change my body, all of that. So And then in the last Wizards game, they brought Gallinari off the bench to play kind of the backup center. It's a pretty different look than a lot of backup fives, shooting spacing. What kind of challenges does that bench unit present when Gallo's kind of your matchup? Uh, you know, just he spaced the floor really. That's the only difference for real. Just space the floor. So, you know, we just got to be prepared for that late res, uh, that type of thing. Uh, just not let him get hot, for real. When you, I mean, when you actually reshaped your body, I mean, that was, yeah, I mean, that was kind of an off-season jump that you took that season. From last season to now, what do you think is the biggest improvement you've made this time around? Just confidence, I'd say. Like, 
Well, I'm on the court now, I ain't like rattled. I'm not rushing to pass the ball, get the ball in my hand. You know, I'm actually looking at the rim. You know what I'm saying? I'm paying attention to detail. I see the actions come before they come in. Uh, you know, just being comfortable for real.